Millionaires, my name is Geek101, and welcome back to another review. A channel review. A channel review because, uh, if you remember the last video, I reviewed Cartoon Network and how they suck now. This time I review Nickelodeon. Like Cartoon Network, only that they suck even more. Oh, but wait until we get to Disney Channel. Anyway, Nickelodeon has been around with us for more than almost a century, too. Either way, Back then, they weren't called Nickelodeon. They were called something else. Um, but I'd rather not talk about it. It was a little too cringy. Anyway, Nickelodeon started off super cool. They showed a bunch of classics like Hey Arnold, Count Chicken, Ren and Stimpy. Even though Ren and Stimpy was really inappropriate for kids. Trust me, it was really inappropriate. Anyway, they had more cartoons like that, like Rugrats, and a bunch of other ones. Um... I don't know if I have the time to list them all. But I'm gonna try! Rugrats, Hey Arnold, Ren and Stimpy, and Danny Phantom, Drake and Josh, and a bunch of other cool shows. They even had Ness to classify school survival, the show that actually helped me with middle school. But like, oh, like all the TV shows, it never happened. That show, like, I tried to do everything that I had in it, but it turns out middle school is really different. From TV shows in reality. I hated myself after that. Anyway, another another thing is that Nickelodeon bought the rights to Power Rangers. My question is why? Ever since it came out of Nickelodeon, it became a little more cheesy. Like, a little more. Like, I said more because it was cheesy already enough. But still, it was, it was a classic. Anyway, Power Rangers started off with Samurai with Nickelodeon. Um... Uh, um, Samurai was pretty good, actually. I liked it. It was actually cool. But Super Samurai? Nah, I accepted it. Mega Force was pretty cool. A little. But then when Super Mega Force came on, I was like, eh, okay. But still, Super Mega Force and Mega Force are both the same, like, not same, but different things. Like, they're completely different things. What the heck, man? Even though that uh, Super Mega Force in Japan is Gokaiger, uh, Gokaiger, they transform into a lot of things. But Super Mega Force could have been like I don't know something else, like Power Rangers Legendary, Legendary Power Rangers, something like that. It could have been the last season for Power Rangers anyway. But it's uh, no, it had to be Super Mega Force because everything was completely different with Mega Force and Super Mega Force. Super Mega Force was different from Mega Force. I repeated this most of the time. Anyway, they come along, Dino Charge. It was okay. It was awesome. It's Dino Supercharge. Tell me what do you think of that when you hear it. Dino Supercharge was so worthless. It, it, the name was stupid. I mean, the only person that could transform into Super was the Red Ranger. And the Morpher for the Super was really, really, really weird. And the Super Suit? Eh. I don't get it why they made a Super Mega, a Super Dino Charger, Dino Super Charger, whatever. A either way, why? That was kind of pointless. I mean, it was just the Red Ranger. And then there's Ninja Steel. Ninja Steel has been okay so far. They stopped for right now. But then there's gonna come along the Lion Zord. I'm kind of excited for that. I mean, new Zords, that's, that's pretty cool. A lot of kids are going to start uh, complaining to their parents to go to Target and buy, buy for them. Um, yeah, I did the same thing when I was younger. Anyway, um, well, Ninja Steel. Hopefully Nickelodeon doesn't make a Ninja Super Steel. Because if they do, I'm going to stop watching Power Rangers. Permanently. And I'm just lying to myself. I'm just going to keep watching it, but keep watching it disappointment. And anyway, oh yeah, another thing. I took a quiz online about uh, which ranger I was in Ninja Steel. I was the Blue Ranger. Here's a clip. Come on. Yeah, you saw that. I'm the Blue Ranger. Anyway, I had to stop talking about Power Rangers because that's the only thing I even talk about. Anyway, Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom was about a show about a kid who got transformed into a ghost. And that's pretty much it. I mean, he had the power to transform into a ghost and fight ghosts. He hunted ghosts. He was like a Ghostbuster only Supreme. Anyway, um, other than that, he it was like about a teen who goes to school. He's like, he's like Spider-Man only ghosts. Yeah, so he gets bullied like by a guy who looks like a lot, a lot like Flash Thompson. Like literally, look him up. 
The guy from the bully from Danny Phantom and Flash Thompson look alike. Uh, I think it was actually kind of like a Spider Man reboot. But like that, he has two friends. One like Harry Osborne, but he's not. I forgot his name. And the other one is a girl like Mary Jane. But she's looks gothic. Anyway, another thing is that Danny Phantom was about, well, at the ending, I, I never saw it. I was too young, and I barely remembered anything. Other than that, there's also Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh was got to be, like, my favorite show growing up. And other than that, it was it was so cool. It, I think that was the show that introduced uh, Drake Bell and Josh Peck. And that I really liked that show. Like my sisters and I would like um, stay up late watching that and stuff. It, it was pretty funny and stuff. It turns out that Josh Peck does the voice of Casey Jones in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That is awesome. And then it brings me to camera guy. What's the other cartoon? I or cartoon not I Carly. I Carly came out in the late two thousands. It doesn't come. It doesn't count as an old cartoon or show. Oh yeah, Fairly Odd Parents. Turns out that Nick Tunes uh shows Fairly Odd Parents. Oh yeah, speaking of that, Nick Tunes is doing a much better job than Nickelodeon. They're actually showing cartoons and they're actually showing good shows. Except for Harvey Veeks. I hate that show. I cannot stand that show. The Other than that, um, well, yeah, um, Fairly Odd Parents. It's the same creator as Danny Phantom. Well, it's the same creators as, as Danny Phantom, but still, the show started getting a little bit dumb when Poof came out. Poof, eh, the episodes are still funny, still pretty cool, but once they got the dog, it started getting stupid. They started making a few episodes and it started getting dumb. Like, the concept of the episodes were so dumb that I, I barely stopped, I stopped watching it now. Even the art is different now. They move differently. And then that's where the new character came. Chloe. Chloe's a girl next door neighbor. He, it shows in the theme song. Turns out, fair, turns out Timmy has to share his fairies, which is bullcrap. Because how is he gonna, how is there a shortage of fairies, first of all? Have you ever seen Fairy World? It's loaded with tons of fairies. And you're saying that there's a shortage of fairies. Check out Perlise's episode where he exposes the theme song. And he'll tell you how. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it. But still, I'm pretty mad at Nickelodeon for ruining our childhoods. Henry Danger is pretty stupid. Well, for some kids it's not, but I hate it. And then there's the Thundermans. I hate it. And then there's... Ugh, a bunch of other cartoons that I hate. But the only good thing is out of it is Power Rangers. I I talk a lot about Power Rangers. I, I, I need help. I need Power Rangers help. And then there's another cartoon, I think. It's called um, uh, Benson is a Beast. The crossover with Fairly Odd Parents was too much already. It's about a kid who's friends with a monster. If you ever see the commercials, the monster shoots out money and ice cream out of its head. And kids are so excited. It came out of his head. How are you gonna how are you gonna like that ice cream? Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I am pretty still mad at uh, Nickelodeon. Nick Toots is doing a much better job. I don't get it why they can't take over uh, Nickelodeon. Also cause they all also cause Nick Toons also shows um uh back at the barnyard. That show, I loved growing up. Like, I loved watching that show growing up. And, um, yeah. Who knows? Maybe I'll review one of these cartoons. Camera guy, stop it. Anyway, I hope that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's gonna be, like, a little thing up here. Or up here. Oh, uh, yeah, up here. It's gonna be a little vote saying, New Nickelodeon or Old Nickelodeon? You choose. Because if you choose new, I'll kill you. Just kidding. I'll hunt you down and I'll strangle you. What is wrong with you? Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Bye, guys. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm not showing any emotion. Bye.